uh, Brad, prostate cancer. It's something that's pretty close to, to your heart. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a big week uh, this week for, for North Melbourne and the Bulldogs, but I think the wider issue here is the, the clash for prostate cancer and uh, the opportunity we have as um, an industry and a football industry to, to raise awareness around prostate cancer. It's, uh, as you mentioned, it's very close to my heart. My father-in-law is currently recovering from uh, prostate cancer surgery and um, you know, it affects one in five men in Australia. It's just uh, it's, it's something that's incredible when you think about more men die from prostate cancer every year than women do from breast cancer. Uh, it's the number one cancer killer of men in this country and one of the issues we have as, as males is that we tend to, to overlook these sort of things and if we can raise awareness for men over 40 to, to go and get a simple blood test from their GP to, to check that they're okay, then you know, I think it's a really good thing. Um, my father-in-law in particular um, is guilty of putting a referral to go and get a, a prostate cancer check in the glove box for, for six to eight weeks and um, it wasn't until he got quite sick that he actually did something about it. So for all men over 40, I think it's something that, that we need to take responsibility for, uh, but also for the women in our lives to actually give the men a bit of a prod to, to go and get checked. And I'm 40 this year and, and I'll certainly be going and getting a check, um, not just for myself, but because of the responsibility I've got to my family. Okay. Yeah. It's really exciting. Uh, the AFL are really claiming a fixture win. They um, fixtured North Melbourne and the Bulldogs on a Friday night, round six, and now they've got a top of the table clash. So you know, there's a lot of water to pass under the bridge in terms of, of ladder positions for the rest of the year, but, but right now it's a really exciting opportunity for for the Bulldogs and North to take centre stage and, and show what sort of footy they're capable of playing. Uh, Sorry, mate. can we expect a shootout? That's the style of football both clubs have seen to be playing. I think that's, um, that's a possibility, but I think if you, if you really dig, dig a little deeper into the Bulldogs, they're, they're an exceptional defensive unit, and you know, I think they average about 14 goals a year, so, or 14 goals this year, so it, it, it's not so much that they've been blowing teams out of the water offensively. Uh, they, they certainly have been dominating the contest, and then they defend really well as well. And, and if you do those two things really well, you tend to get the ball back. So they're an offensive threat as well. But they got the better of us um, in the round 22 clash last year, and we're looking to bounce back from that. What's the key area you're looking to exploit, exploit them, perhaps? Well, they're, they're pretty well in all, uh, pretty well covered in all areas right at the moment, uh, playing great footy uh, with the ball. They're a clear number one uh, in both a contested possession area of the game and the uncontested possession difference. So. When you're winning those those two things, you're going to be hard to stop. So I think it's like a lot of games of footy, it's going to be a battle in the midfield. And you know, while our talls may have a perceived advantage, uh, it's going to be the supply they get that I think is important. I think they chopped you up in the contested possessions last time, didn't they? Is that, is that right? Yeah, they did. I mean, we took um, we took an enormous amount of contested marks and we, we got on top in, in that part of the game, but we didn't win it. So um, you know, the contest is where it's key, and that was pretty obvious last time. No disrespect to the teams that you have played so far, but is this the biggest test that you've had, particularly given that it's at Eddie Had as well? Uh, given the amount of footy the Bulldogs played at Eddie Had? That's right. Right, yeah. Um, well, it's our home ground. I mean, it's our home game. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I think it's a ground we love playing at. Um, the Bulldogs love playing there too, clearly. Um, but, yeah, I mean, every challenge is huge. You know, the, the challenges are just going to keep coming for the rest of the year, and this is the one that's in front of us at the moment. What makes them so hard to score against, Brad? They've got the ball most of the time. Uh, I mean, pretty simply, they, they win the ball in the contest and they retain it really well. So that adds up to really high time in possession and, and they give their forwards an opportunity. I think it was 71 inside 50s last week. So you know, if you can't compete in the contest, then it's going to be hard to challenge them elsewhere. What's pleased you most about the way you've played the first five rounds? I think we're, while the Bulldogs are a clear number one in contested possession, we're a clear number two. So, um, you know, I think that, that effort in the contest has been really good. Um, you know, we've been able to transition and, and move the ball and score pretty well. Uh, so I think those parts of the games have been going pretty well for us. But uh, defensively, we've, we've also tightened up some areas, even though the games we've played have been uh, quite unique in a lot of ways. So uh, statistically, in terms of offence, defence, I think we need to wait another six or eight weeks to get a full picture of that. Last couple of years, we talked to you about the injury lists and how it might have bogged you down at different stages. Are we seeing the reverse here? I mean, you've got your, your first team's largely quarantined from major injuries this year. 
Is that playing a part in you know, the start of the season? Oh, we've said all pre-season that, that our availability has been really good uh, and that, that certainly helped. I mean, it, um, there's no doubt having competition for spots, uh, having good coverage, but I mean, we, you know, we're really disappointed to lose Jed Anderson for a long period of time. We've lost Taylor Garner now uh, for the last three weeks. Uh, he won't return this week. So, you know, we've, we have lost a few players that we think are really important to us, um, but we've got good depth to cover it. So um, I think the Bulldogs are in a similar position, even though there's going to be a lot of talk about their injuries. You know, they tend to pro uh, replace like for like pr pretty well. Mason would a late withdrawal last week. Was that mainly a horses for courses sort of selection? Yeah, it was. Um, Mason's likely to come back in this week. He, he's a, he marks the ball really well above his head and um, plays like a key forward. Uh, so, yeah, it was... The conditions up at, in Queensland at this time of year suggest that it's going to be a fairly slippery game. So um, we made a late decision there to bring Kane in. And we think Kane's a uh, really important uh, part of our side. And you know, it was a line ball decision, but one we had to make in the best interest of the team. Just hearing your comments about Eddie had before you the home team, are you really keen to like, you know, out-cheer the Bulldogs or out-draw the Bulldogs? That can make a difference? I think it's we get unbelievable support at Etihad, you know, particularly at the North End. I mean, we we just have uh, great support. The players absolutely love it, um, and you know, we can. Um, you know, we've got to prove that that we belong on the Friday night stage. North supporters have craved that for a long period of time, and we've got Friday five Friday night games this year. So, you know, if we want to continue to be fixtured on a Friday night, then we've got to we've got to draw the crowd, and um, you know, I, I expect. North supporters will love getting out there in force and you know, hopefully Bulldog supporters do the same. On paper, so evenly poised, who's favourites? Oh, it's for you guys to decide. Um, I, don't, I don't put in a tip each week. I just try and prepare my team as best as we can. Um, you, know, the, you can make an argument for, for both and that's what you guys will do. You spoke before about the Bulldogs' defence. Your offence has been particularly exciting for people externally. How pleased have you been with the three tools in particular of you know Petrie, Waite and Brown being able to work so well together? Yeah, I think, I think it's been the spread uh, that's been really important. We've, we've said for a long period of time that we don't uh, focus on individuals, we focus on the offensive unit. And I think they've done that, that really well, but the smalls have been an important component of that too. You know, Harvey, Higgins, Thomas, Turner... Um, you know Wood, who plays a bit, bit of both. So there are a lot of guys who who cycle through there, and our offensive unit's been going okay. But it's primarily it's been the way that they've actually defended for us that have given the, them the opportunity to score going back the other way. Lockie, Lockie Hanson, a long-time senior regular, Brad. How far is he off getting back into the team? Yeah, really close. He travelled with us to the Gold Coast. Um, you know, again, the conditions probably didn't suit. Um, you know, going really tall in defence, so he just missed out again. But you know, he's right in the mix, and I keep saying he's going to be a really important part of our our 216 campaign. And he keeps reminding me of that each week when I don't play him. So um, he'll get his opportunity sooner rather than later. There's a few people out there that might say that Ben Cunnington's lucky to escape suspension. What's your take on that incident? Uh, that the match review panel cleared him. I think there are some journalists who make big calls before the MRP meet, and then when they get it wrong, they blame the MRP. They don't admit they made a mistake. It'd be great to have him, obviously, against the a relief at least to have him against the dogs, given how strong they are with the contested footy. Yeah, I, I think it's it's important uh, to have them all there. Um, but you know, we we're a side that that has never relied on on one individual over another. It's going to be the collective midfield unit. The Bulldogs are a bit the same. Brad, you're one of only two clubs to have a scout at the international combine in America. Forward thinking from you guys, have you got the jump on the rest of the, the competition? Obviously, we've seen you try Eric Wallace before, and obviously off the back of seeing Mason Cox debut for Collingwood. Yeah, I think it's a really exciting component of the game. I mean, Mason Cox was great for the game. It's great for, for, I think, first choice athletes to see our game as a great opportunity. If they've got the, the size and the athleticism, then they can play our game. And one of the great things about Australian rules football is you can be 212 centimetres or, or Caleb Daniel size. You know, you can play the game. And that's, that's what a lot of other sports don't have. Uh, so looking, looking to, to broaden our horizons and, and look for some, particularly some talls overseas is important. And I think Richmond are the other team over in the States at the moment. But we see it as a really important part of, of game development. Um, potentially some clubs have pulled back on expenditure because of the soft cap. Um, we don't have that problem. Uh, we've got plenty of money to spend under the soft cap. So, uh, yeah, our guys, we've got two really important recruiters over there looking at the moment. So hopefully they come back with some good information.